You can completely reinvent your failing business in 2024. More money, more clients, more opportunities. Your current business model may be holding you back from all of these and more. Even if it feels like things are falling apart around you, failure can reveal key insights about your customers' needs and your market. In this video, I'll walk through six simple steps to reinvent your business model and turn failures of the past into fuel for growth this year. Stay tuned to the end for a special technique for generating referrals that is fire. Let's get into it. Failure. Is it an end? Is it a beginning? Or is it just another step along the journey? JK Rowling said it this way. Failure is so important. We speak about success all the time. It is the ability to resist failure or use failure that often leads to greater success. And Rowling should know because the Harry Potter manuscript was turned down by 12 publishers before it was finally accepted. Here's a step-by-step -step process for changing the way that you view failure. Step one, develop a new mindset towards failure. Think of it as learning on the cheap. Failing can spotlight inefficiencies or flaws in ideas, processes, or programs that you have. Things that may just need small changes or things that don't work and need to be replaced with other approaches. Each failure is like climbing another rung of the ladder in terms of learning and mastery rather than merely just a setback or a barrier. If you can begin to look at failure this way, it'll change the way you move ahead after things don't go the way you expected. Here's an exercise to put this into action. Write down a recent failure you had on a notepad or journal and answer these questions. What was the original goal you were trying to achieve? And what did you do in order to try to achieve that goal? Why didn't it work? Be brutally honest with yourself. Were you going after the wrong customer? Did you have the wrong solution? Did you put in enough time or was your timing bad? Did you make the wrong assumptions or did you have the wrong expectations? Finally, write down some reflections. What did you learn from this failure and what are you gonna do differently in the future as a result? Step two, create an action plan for what's next. Now what? Are you gonna reattempt what you did before? See if you can do it better this time? Will you reboot and try a little bit different way? Or will you redirect and go in a different direction altogether? No matter which you choose, I highly recommend you start with ideation. This is generating lots and lots of new ideas. Ideally, come up with 10 to 20 alternative approaches and group these into categories. Next, I'm always a big fan of using the business model canvas. This is a great way to model out multiple alternatives and clarify a new way and how that will bring value to your customers. Next, create small experiments. And it's best if you can do this through bootstrapping, which is doing them as cheaply and quickly as possible. But you want to come up with a hypothesis of what you think is going to happen and then test that hypothesis. Ideally, you'll, you'll use real customer data that shows you how people reacted to your new message or your new approach. Then measure the results and compare with previous approaches. In a perfect world, you also can set some benchmarks to show what you think it should be. And so you can test against did it work better than it did before, but also did it work as well as I'd hoped or in alignment with benchmarks that I've seen in others uh, in the same industry or in a similar business. Here's an exercise you can try for step number two. Choose one idea that you have and write up an email describing the new offering to one potential customer. Present it with a very high fee, but then offer to let them try it out for free if they agree to give you feedback and a testimonial, assuming they like it. See how they respond. This can be a great way to experiment with an idea that you have, testing in a small way, getting real customer feedback. Step number three, once you've settled on a new approach, consider outcomes. What are the possible outcomes you can expect with your new approach? The results could be good, they could be okay, undesirable, bad, disastrous, whatever the categories you choose. Define what they are and then write down how you would feel and how you would react to each one of these outcomes. You're really dealing with your own psychology here. You're, you're deciding in advance what your reaction will be with each of these. Then identify the consequences of each outcome. Financially, reputationally, mentally, emotionally. Identify what would happen if each of these results came to be. You've now defined what the result is, you've identified how you'll react to it, and then you identified what the consequences are. From there, create an action plan for each outcome. How might you accelerate the impact of positive outcomes? How might you reduce the impact of negative outcomes? Where might you choose to stop if negative outcomes are becoming evident and you'd rather stop and cut your losses early? Here's an exercise for step three. Write a fictional account of the worst case scenario for your new approach. Be intentionally over the top with your description. This is a good way to really test the stakes. If the very worst thing happened, what would be the results? If you can still go forward feeling comfortable with those particular outcomes, then you know you have a good test. 
if you feel like that worst case scenario is more than you can handle then look for ways to really reduce that potential impact so even if you do experience a worst case scenario it doesn't have that same negative impact number four make a list of the risks identifying risks can help you to deal with them either by reducing them or at least coming to terms with the potential outcomes a risk is anything that might cause you to hesitate or fear or give you reason to hold back on moving ahead with a new business model even though you feel like it's a pretty good approach here's an exercise for step number four create a list of all the risks you can think of describe the impact of each one is the risk high is it low what are the costs what stakeholders will be affected could it involve physical harm or is there a financial loss is that one of the risks is there opportunity cost anything you can think of related to these risks that gives you context for how critical they are now for each risk factor come up with at least three ideas for reducing or eliminating that risk factor and for those that you can't reduce or eliminate identify what it is that you would need to do to prepare for the outcome if that particular event came to pass step number five talk to your customers this is always a good idea asking questions about the problem that you address for them the experience that they're having with your current offering and the gaps are going to give you insights into different ways that you can deliver value listen carefully to what your customers are saying and what they aren't saying are they even aware of the whole problem that they're dealing with or that you're helping them to solve it may be that they're not these are going to be insights that you can use to make sure you're delivering the right kind of value and also ways that you might deliver the solution to their problem in a different way that may be more valuable to them and more lucrative to you here's an exercise for step number five reach out to three of your customers and offer them a free account review or consultation ask them to describe a day in their life and why or when they look to your solution to help them to address a problem or address a pain point that they're experiencing listen carefully and take notes about the situation that surrounds their pain point and your solution finally ask them what they feel is missing that you could add to your solution or develop as a premium offering that they might be willing to pay more for step number six develop new offerings based on what you've learned ideally product bundles or packages that will bring additional value to your customers either at the same price uh, or even at a higher price point that they're more likely to pay for and also share with others once you've talked to customers you have so much insight into what it is that they really need so then coming up with a new way to deliver value in terms of a package or a bundle may include things that you've done with previous offerings but add more value and in a way that you can position differently with your current customers and those who might become your customers consider adding enhanced service levels ancillary products and services or come up with a totally different business model that services a different or expanded group of customers here's an exercise for step number six design a beta version of a new offering and test it with some loyal customers now that you've learned from past failures adopted a new perspective on failure gained insights from customers tested out a new approach and formulated a new business model run a pilot with a group of loyal customers offer them a special rate in exchange for input and reference stories now here's a bonus this is a technique for getting referrals that is absolutely certain to help you get new clients ask you may be saying seriously the funny thing about referrals is that most people never ask for them every person you interact with whether it's a current client a previous client someone who decided not to use your product or someone who's just a friend or family that doesn't have anything to do with your business they may be the one person between you and your next client when you're talking to someone if you ask them for a referral there's a good chance that they will know of someone that would be good as a potential customer for you if a customer is finding your offerings valuable they most certainly know someone else who would find it valuable too so here's a magic phrase you can use to ask for a referral thanks for staying with me for all these months or years i'm curious who do you know that would find what i do as valuable as you do that's it you'll be shocked at how easy it is to add new clients by asking this simple question if you'd like to learn more about creating new offerings through an iterative process check out my video called learn the loop the build measure learn cycle keep going